So just like any data structure, we know that data structure is a collection of items, right? It's a collection of items with some operations defined on them, right? We know that it's basically a collection of items with operations defined on them, right? Without that, you don't have a data structure in the first place. And of course, there is also a relationship. There is also a relationship amongst the items, right? These are the three aspects of a data structure. So in the case of our stack, right, let's, let's go back to the simple example of books, right? So let's assume I have some, let's say book 32, which is sitting on top of book six, right? Which is sitting on top of book 24. Let's assume these are book IDs. Let's just say for simplicity, right? 61, which is sitting on top of book number one, right? So look at this. This is basically a collection of items. Let's say in this case, it's a collection of book IDs with a relationship. What is the relationship? That a book 61 is lying on top of book one. That a book 24 is lying on top of book 61, right? And the top book, if you look at this, this is the top book, right? Okay, so we often in, 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 in a, on a stack, we often have a variable called top, which points to the top book, right? So the top book, so there is this relationship that one book lies on top of the other book and one book lies below the other book. The type of relationship is there in a stack. But what about operations? So we saw that it's a collection of objects in such a way that there is this relationship called one item or one object lies on top of the other or one object lies below the other object, right? But there are two major operations on a stack. One is called pop, the other is called push. We'll see the code for this little later, but let's understand them intuitively. Push basically means, so if, imagine if I'm given a stack, let's say my stack is S, right? This is my stack. And when I say push an item, let's say, let's say I have a function like this. I want to push an item, uh, push an item, let's say of value 24 or 25, let's say. Okay, I want to push an item or a book whose ID is 25 onto stack S. What, do, what does that mean? It basically means because you can only add an item at the top. Push basically means push it onto the stack. What it means is the moment you, you the moment you do this, what happens is you add a new item on top of the stack, right? And that item has an ID 25. And now your top, your top now points to this item. We'll see how top has to be implemented in the programming languages and all of that little later, right? We'll, we'll go to that in the next video itself. But for now, right? Think of top as a variable, which is pointing to the top item, top of the stack, basically. The first item on the stack. So push basically pushes an item. It pushes an item to the top of the stack. That's what a push operation is. The second operation is pop. So when I say pop S, what does it mean? Pop S returns to me the item that is there at the very top. So, so for example, when I say pop S, what it does is it removes the first item or the top item on the stack and returns it value to me. For example, if I say X equals to pop S, then it will remove this item. Look at this. It will remove this item, right? This item has a value of 25. So now X will be given the value of 25. And while doing that, since this item is anywhere removed from the pop, by using the pop, it's removed from the stack, right? So now top will point to the next item in the stack. Okay, since stack is a LIFO data structure, you can only remove things at from the top because the last item which went into the stock into the stack is the first item that will be removed out of the stack, right? There are two simple operations called push and pop. Push pushes or inserts an item to the top of the stack pop removes an item from the top of the stack and returns its value. Now, you might wonder why, why do we have only two operations? Why are they so simple? We'll see that just using these two simple operations, you can solve a lot of these problems. Remember, we talked about expression evaluation. We talked about parentheses check. We talked about how recursive functions work using a call stack. All of them can be done. There are only two primary operations on a stack, push and pop just using this simple relationship that one item lies on top of the other item or an item lies below another item using this single variable called top of a stack using just these two very simple looking operations 
there is a ton of power that lies inside this. We'll see how all of these problems that we discussed in the previous video can be solved using just this very, very simple structure. That's the beauty of stack. It's extremely simple. It is extremely simple, but extremely potent and powerful.